Um, thank you so much for having me today. I'm very, very pleased to be here. My name is Lisa Watts. I'm the CEO of a company called 121. And um, I wanted to just at least give you a quick background on who we are and what we do very, very, uh, very, very quickly so that, that you have some context. So um, I head up a global team of, of seasoned professionals that are working at the edge of emerging technologies across all aspects of, of um, com commercial and consumer, both from a business and product strategy and go-to-market perspective. And our, our clients are typically uh, people like you that are working at the edge of very interesting innovations and looking to how are those things going to go out into the marketplace. And so some of these faces may seem familiar. We've, we've managed to create an amazing collaboration uh, across the globe, and I couldn't be more pleased to be in the pocket with all these folks uh, every day. And we really call ourselves experts at your service, uh, not really a consulting company per se, um, but really in professionals that are part of your team, providing everything from fractional leadership to uh, embedded strike teams uh, that get in there and really help you um, deliver what you need to deliver to your customers. And so today uh, I've been asked to talk about ecosystem partnerships and the importance of those in the context of AI. And um, I will probably beg a little bit of your forgiveness. I'm taking a little bit of a creative approach to this presentation today. So it may not match 100% what you expected on the, on the abstract. Um, and normally those of you who, who know me well know I, I, uh, I generally kind of shoot from the hip on my presentations, but I've taken the time today to really script out a narrative and a story that I hope you'll enjoy. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that started now. So I would first say, of course, good morning and welcome. And as women is the, of the future, we stand together on the threshold of an extraordinary journey into the future, the age of AI. And this new venture will not be successful without strong and lasting partnerships and a clear focus on driving utility and user value across the broader ecosystem. So as we take a look at this landscape and as our analogy today, I'm leveraging a story that most of you probably know, which is the Lord of the Rings. And in the age of AI, just like powerful female characters like Gladriel and Eowyn shaped the fate of their world, we too are key contributors in shaping the landscape of ours. And like the one ring of Middle Earth, AI has the potential to be a tremendous power in our world. As its stewards, we have the capacity to harness this power to unearth novel solutions accelerate social progress, and usher in an era of enlightened and human-centered technologies. Give me one minute here. I have my screens arranged strangely. So let me get back to where I was. Okay. Um, and so in Gandalf's words, this is our responsibility. This is your realm. The third age of the world has ended and the new age has begun. And in this new age, we have the opportunity as leaders to be lighting the way on how to leverage the power of AI to shape a future that reflects the needs of the citizens of our world. As AI's potential power, like the One Ring, can be yielded, wielded for good and ill. As women of the future, we must strive to ensure it upholds the principles of fairness, equality, inclusivity, and turning this powerful tool into a force for positive change for the world. Data is the power of AI, and similar to the power of the ring, holds the key to drive innovation, transformation in this emerging space. And as we've seen in the tale of the one ring, it must be handled responsibly. We will all play a crucial role in the responsible use of this powerful tool. Our journey in the age of AI isn't solitary. Just as the Fellowship of the Ring was a partnership of different races, we too need collaboration from various stakeholders to harness the power of AI. Together, we can navigate the challenges and maximize the benefits in this new era. So where does that take us? 
our fellowship must be diverse and inclusive. In this ecosystem, we think about businesses, governments, academic institutions, technology providers, and citizens. Each of these players plays a unique role in shaping the future of AI, contributing their expertise and perspectives to form the backbone of a strong AI ecosystem. We are an integral piece of this puzzle, bringing our unique insights and experiences together in a cohesive tapestry, driving value for the user community. Establishing ecosystem partnerships is crucial for many reasons. No single entity can master all of the intricacies of AI. By partnering and sharing expertise, each stakeholder can focus on their competencies while benefiting from the expertise of others. Collaboration drives innovation. When different minds come together and innovation thrives, cross fertilization of ideas can lead to novel applications and solutions. And scalability is key. Partnerships can enable the scalability of solutions. An AI tool developed by one partner can be scaled to a larger user base with the help of others, utilizing a pool of resources and connections driving value and utility into platforms much faster. A focus on interoperability and standards is extremely crucial. Now, let's take a look at these different ecosystem partners and what they are bringing to the table. So the first partnership that we want to talk about is the businesses. And like the dwarves of Middle Earth, businesses delve deep into mountains of data, extracting insights to drive business decisions, growth, growth strategies, and innovations. Many of you may be already leading these efforts, serving as CEOs, data scientists, product leaders, and software developers. You each bring unique perspectives and approaches from designing more inclusive algorithms to making strategic decisions. Take data scientists, for example. They are crucial to unlocking the value in the vast amounts of data and finding those gems. These scientists are the translators of raw data, utilizing statistical analysis, data visualization, and mach machine learning to interpret, understand, and present data in a meaningful way. They craft the narratives that explain the patterns and the trends that reside within the data, informing strategic business decisions and driving innovation. Women data scientists bring a unique perspective to this process. They challenge biases and ask questions that might not otherwise be asked, uncovering insights that may have been overlooked. Their contributions will continue to be incredibly valuable in shaping AI algorithms, ensuring they are reflecting a diverse range of experiences and realities, and ultimately leading to AI solutions that are more user-friendly, equitable, inclusive, and effective. Did you know that in the United States alone, women make up just 18% of data scientists and the numbers are even lower for transgender, non-binary and non-conforming data scientists. Without these larger perspectives, turning that raw ore into data of data into precious gems of insight will never be fully realized. Our governments play a vital role in creating ethical frameworks for AI, much like the protective spells cast by wizards. Women are playing an increasingly influential role in this area, helping to shape policies that ensure the power of AI is used ethically and responsibly on all levels. One such leader is Marguerite Vestager, the European Union's commissioner for competition. And depending on what side of the competition you're on, she may be a friend or a foe but she has been extremely instrumental in regulating big tech companies and advocating for individual digital rights. Similarly, Dr. Fei-Fei Li, co-director of the Stanford Institute of Human-Centered AI, has been a strong voice for ethical guidelines in AI development. It is crucial to remember that every voice matters in these discussions. As women, we bring unique perspectives to these conversations and can play a key role in ensuring that the rules guiding AI are fair, ethical, and considerate of all people. The academic institutions are the custodians of knowledge, much akin to the elves of Middle Earth. They drive the evolution of AI by spearheading groundbreaking research and fostering deep insights into technology. Women in academia are at the forefront and have been for many years of these advancements. One such tra trailblazer is Cynthia Brazil, She's an associate professor of media arts and sciences at MIT, and she's been dri a driving force in the field of robotics. In 2000, 
she, she introduced Kismet, the world's first social robot that could recognize and simulate emotions, creating a new paradigm for human computer interactions. Then there's a Tanya Sweeney, a professor of government and technology in residence at Harvard. In 2000, her groundbreaking study demonstrated how supposedly anonymized data could be used to identify individuals, revealing a significant privacy concern in data handling and in AI systems. The influence of academia doesn't start there, doesn't stop there. With Dr. Daphne Kohler, a professor of Stanford University, she co-founded Coursera in 2012. This is a platform that has democratized access to technology and specific to AI and machine learning education worldwide. Each of these contributions eliminates the profound impact academia has on the development and understanding of AI. Technology providers are our fellowships Aragorns in this story. The human minds spearheading AI innovation. Women in tech AI's potential and women in tech translate AI's potential into tangible solutions as developers, product managers, UX designers, and more. Women developers like Joy Bulamwini, she's the founder of the Algorithmic Justice League, uncover and rectify biases in AI systems. Bulamwini's research into facial recognition has improved algorithmic fairness, highlighting the importance of diversity in tech. Women product leaders such as Deborah Liu, former head of product for Facebook Marketplace and now CEO of Ancestry.com, ensure diverse needs are met in future solutions. Her user-centric designs and now her stewardship over an expansive AI arch archive and the exploration of that data has enhanced user value on both of these platforms for the long term. Women UX designers like Mariana Morris, co-founder of Frucho, and our involvement in, our, our co cons <laughs> excuse me, women UX designers like Mariana Morris, co-founder of Fruto, bring empathy and inclusivity to AI interface design. Her focus on user-centric designs ensures technology is accessible to all, regardless of tech savviness. Considering that women make up 70 to 80% of purchasing decisions, our involvement in tech focuses on better products stronger partnerships and higher user value. Take for example, the difficulty of a woman, me, with long fingernails and how, how challenging it was to first figure out how to open the door on a Tesla. Addressing nuances such as these leads to more inclusive product designs, user-focused solutions, and actually it's just frankly good business while it enhances the user experience. Citizens, our hobbits in this story, are the end users of AI, experiencing the real world impact of this technology. For them, it's about how can AI make their lives easier, safer, more enjoyable. Let's look at a couple of tangible benefits of AI that are already being felt by citizens around the world. Many of you enjoy personalized experiences from streaming services like Netflix or Spotify who use AI to recommend movies or songs tailored to your tastes. This enhances your entertainment experience. AI is revolutionizing healthcare, making it more accurate and accessible. AI powered apps can provide personalized health advice, helping users understand their symptoms and when to ask for medical help. Further, AI is aiding early detection of diseases like cancer, even before the symptoms appear by analyzing medical imagery. And you're gonna hear much more on this topic from Alana Whitaker in her upcoming session, which I think is either right after mine or one after that. So be sure to stay tuned in for her talk. AI is also at the heart of autonomous vehicles, which have the potential to revolu revolutionize and democratize transportation. Self-driving cars like those being de developed by Waymo promise to reduce traffic accidents, provide mobility for those who cannot drive, free up time, currently spent for more enjoyable and productive activities. The magic of AI lives in its potential to quietly and profoundly improve everyday life. Like the hobbits of Middle Earth, citizens might not always see the complex machinations of AI, but they are the ones that stand to benefit from its thoughtful and ethical use. 
Just as the Fellowship faced challenges from the likes of Sauron and his armies, we too encounter adversaries in our quest to harness AI. And these are not mythical creatures, but real issues, such as deep fakes, data privacy breaches, unethical use of AI, cybersecurity threats, and the digital divide. These challenges are our modern day orcs and ring wraiths hiding in the shadows and threatening the promise of AI. However, united in our purpose, we as women of the future are equipped to confront these adversaries head on, wielding the swords of innovation, collaboration and partnerships. We are the ones to light the beacons, leading the way towards holistic and sustainable solutions. Together, we can drive these challenges and turn them into opportunities. Just as the fellowship drew from the strength of their unity and diversity, we can leverage our collective strengths and the strengths of a diverse ecosystem of partners to shape the future of AI. And as we step into this new age, we must remember Gandalf's words. And it is your task to order its beginning and to preserve what must be preserved. It is our collective responsibility to shape this new age into one of progress, prosperity, and inclusivity. Much like the unity and the collaboration that, embody, that is embodied in the fellowship, it is important for us to come together to harness the power of AI for a better future. Our task is daunting, but together as women of the future, we can triumph. Which hobbit are you? What role will you play in the dawn of this new age? Here is a couple of important links for you. I will work with Marianne to figure out how I can put those into the chat um, so, that, so that you'll have access to those. But what I wanted to do now is just take, I think I have just a couple minutes left. So I'm not sure how it works, uh, Anne-Marie, but um, I wanted to thank you for your time and attention and open the floor for any quick questions. Your questions, thoughts, and perspectives are all a very valuable part of this conversation and why we're all here today. Let's use our collective wisdom to chart the best path forward in this age of AI.